Kia ora koutou, welcome to Face to Face. Uh, we have with us Dave Armstrong, uh, who is putting on a, uh, uh, has written a play, a play uh, coming yes. up at Circa Theatre. Yep. And it's all about the Central Otago landscape, conservation, housing, all that sort of good stuff. The Greed, land, you name it. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, uh, the, it's an, an artistic version of the Resource Management Act. <laughs> so as an economist, I totally geeked out at the opportunity to talk to him about it. So Dave, ha, ha, where did this play come from? Well, it came really from the Department of Conservation and Creative New Zealand had a thing called Wild Creations, which I applied for, and it's to really write or create about the New Zealand landscape. And I wanted to write a play. Uh, I'd been down to Central Otago a lot, and I thought there's a play down there somewhere. Uh, and then, Beautiful part of the country. Yeah, and yeah. The, uh, the application sort of said write a play, but you know, do something about landscape. And it's hard writing a play about landscape because the uh, hills don't talk. But I went down there for six weeks and I had a ball and I loved the people. I was down in Bannockburn at the post, staying actually in an old post office. I think you have to say it with a Scottish accent. Yeah, Bannockburn. Uh, Bannockburn. Bannockburn. And that's right. And it was fantastic. And I just sort of hung out, talked to locals, a bit undercover. I didn't say, yeah. I'm a playwright writing about land issues. I just talk, I just listen to people. I'm a playwright. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, I just sort of hung out. I did a lot of mountain bike riding and just looking at places and just talking to locals. And uh, I realised there was a story in central Otago. Yeah. Um, there was a story about the locals who've lived there many generations who want to build there, who aren't quite the same about the landscape, even though they love it as some of the imports. A lot of people that have come in from Auckland or come in from overseas yeah. who might only live there six months of the year, and then they go somewhere warmer during the winter. Right. And all the locals are saying, silly buggers, <laughs> it's the winter that's the best time. Yeah, which, I, which, missing out. which is true in some ways. Yeah. And so I had this wonderful time where I just talked to people. And at the end of it, I, I wrote a play, funnily enough, about a writer who's a Hollywood writer. He's a, a New Zealander, but he's been making millions overseas. And he comes back to make an art movie with his wife and he gets a patio built by a local builder. So you meet the, the nice world of the pasta eating, wine drinking, um, rich people, yep. and this builder that's sort of struggling a bit. And, mm. and he's a local and he's got, he's got hens, he's got 24 hens, one's called Richie McClaw, the other's called Helen Cluck. You know, they've got, <laughs> he's got funny names. And, and, and he's just a sort of ordinary, he's a great guy. And uh, then the, the, the writer doesn't want to work, you know, he doesn't want to write terrible action movies. He wants to do something meaningful and artistic, mm, like all mm. us writers do. And then the phone rings and someone offers him two million bucks to write an action replay, a, 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 an action movie, a, a sequel to an action movie. Right. And so there's all these sort of things going on. And, and it's about, you know, we all have our price. It's about money and greed, but it's also... We do all have our price. That's right. It's but the it's, economist talking <laughs> here. Yeah. It's also, uh, um, in terms of the local builder and stuff, it's about how do you live in a place like Queenstown or Ponsonby or yeah. Kilburn yeah. and have the coffee brought by to you, you know, by someone on a low wage, say, how do they live? What's yeah. affordable where, housing? Where do they where live? Do they live? Yeah. So in Queenstown, for example, you've got the situation where people that work in cafes yeah. um, have to live in Cromwell or well out of town because they, Cromwell. You, just, you can't build there. You Through know? the Kawero Gorge. That's right. They to drive that they twice have to a commute day. commute and it's, it's crazy. And I've so, cycled that. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I've yeah. driven it and, and cycled bits of it. I'm not yeah. as fit as you. But it was, and so I, I think that's a really big issue for all, all New Zealanders. And I live in a street uh, in Wellington where there's council flats at one end. So low income housing. Um, and then there's you know yuppies like me in, in our villas, and I love that. And I think it's I think I live in a great street because yeah. there's refugees, there's all old Newtown residents who've Melting been here pot. for 50 years. But that's changing, and yeah. we're we're getting our nice areas and our not so nice areas. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's social devastation yeah, too, yeah. too. But but at the same time, you can't just be say I care for the environment. Don't build that apartment block <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. these you know so, so that yeah. and, and funnily enough in a play funded partly by the Department of Conservation, um, you, you know, I had to, at the end of it, come out and say, well, it's complex. It's not, yeah, you can't yeah. just beat up on development. There's, there's no right I, wrong. I, I, what yeah. I love about the play is in most plays, the developers are the bad guys. Yeah. Whereas yeah. in Central, they're sort of not. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they yeah. are sort of bad guys, but they're not entirely. Because in Queenstown, you've actually got a as bad a situation as in Auckland in terms of housing affordability. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. More, than, more than 10 times the income to, to, to purchase a house. Yeah. And so you've got this, these beautiful views, which you don't want to ruin. I think everyone agrees we don't want to ruin yep. the, the yep. Am yep. amazing yep. landscape there. 
And so if you're going to build affordable housing, how do you protect the, how do you protect that environment? That, these are the sorts of tensions you're exploring. Absolutely, and, and in the play, there's a line, the, 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 the writer goes, you know, I've got nothing against affordable housing as long as it fits into the environment, isn't ugly, uh, is sustainable and economic, uh, environmentally sustainable. And the builder goes, well, if you do all that, it's not bloody affordable, is it? And <laughs> I agree, it's hard. You know? Well, the only way to do it, to do affordable housing that way that's sustainable is by building up yep. rather yep. than out. Yes. And that's yes. when we get into the, you know... The, the not in my backyard. Not in my How backyard dare you ruin my view of the Harbour Bridge. Or the, yep. or the what's the range down there? Sorry, Queenstowners. Uh, the, uh, oh, the Remarkables. Remarkables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can I forget? Yeah, so I don't want you to block out my view yep. of the Remarkables. Yep. Yep. With your in the in the house story. I live in, three months of the year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah seriously, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. you know that's interesting. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe I'm I'm inadvertently starting a Queenstown squatter movement, but you know <laughs> and it's it's interesting. Yeah. And, and this, yeah. as you know, as an economist, everything has its consequence. Yeah? The minute yeah. you do one thing, yeah, something else happens. So yeah. these are hard problems. And, and I, I know, and the other thing is we all beat up on Queenstown. I think these are problems that every place has got to deal with. Oh, it is. In for sure. some ways, the people down yeah. in Central are dealing with them, but yeah. it's really complex. Well, that's what we've seen with the unitary plan in, in Auckland just, yep. just uh, recently. So in terms of, you know, are, are, you, are you sort of trying to say, where does the conservationist end and the NIMBY begin? Is that the... Yeah, I, I think you have to... I, I, I Look, I'm a conservationist. I'm probably like the the uh, guy in the in the mo in the play, the the writer, except you know, I dream of getting tempted by the devil. Uh, <laughs> if Hollywood rang up, you know, they come they, on Hollywood, yeah, they would. Yeah, uh, <laughs> bum like me. Unfortunately, I think you know, I think getting asked two hundred bucks to do something is big. So, um, but I, I think you've got to be careful who's telling you. You yeah, know, and yeah. and what I've learned a lot is New Zealanders don't respond well to finger wagging. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, a, yeah. a rich person or a well off person saying, you shouldn't use that palm oil from um, Malaysia, while they might be right, yeah. doing that's not the way. Yeah, Whereas yeah. saying, you know, what do you think would happen if that happened? And, and yeah, yeah. I think it's the same with, with conservation. Saying, don't you build next to me, I don't want, you know, we've got to have a conversation yeah. and we've got to say, well, yeah. how do we, you know, do we do we pay the person making our coffee more, or do we um, build houses that uh, don't impact on the environment? Like you say, build mm. up. You know, we. Mm. But unfortunately, what I've seen in most cities, the discussions are acrimonious and they're generational. Yeah. They're they're fifty year olds telling thirty year olds what to do. Yeah. And yeah. hey, Sonny, you listen to me. I'm older than you. And I don't. That's not right. It's yeah. it's got to be a, a knowledge discussion, not a, a generational one. But but. You're going to get, you know, revolution if, if a whole lot of 20 and 30 year olds don't have anywhere to live and a whole lot of 50 and 60 year olds are very doing very nicely, thank you, with their um, capital gains, yeah. you're going to get big problems. Yeah, or in, you're going to have no one making your latte because all That's right. Yeah. go somewhere else. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So uh, that, it's a, mar a marvellous blend of art and economics. What more could you ask for from a night out? I, um, I don't know what you're doing to our box <laughs> office. I hope we're not plummeting. Probably are. There are where, some laughs as well. <laughs> where, where is this play on? Oh, it's on What's at Circa it? Theatre. Circa Theatre. opens on October the 15th. It October runs for 15th. about a month. Uh, uh, and um, Is it going to go anywhere else? Does, it, does the rest of New Zealand get to see this? been to Queenstown and Wanaka, and the locals mm -hmm. loved it because they said it's about us. It's about our yeah, people. Um, yeah. A, a, and I think it's about more than central. It's, it's, it is more um, than just there, although this, a very special part of the country. Yeah, yeah this yeah. this season is just a, a one-off, but we're hoping to plan planning to tour it uh, l later next year. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dave.